everyone uh, welcome back let's solve the problem c from the weekly contest 395 and here you can see the acceptance rate is 25 percent so these type of to solve these type of problems the basic prerequisites is you should have good amount of maths knowledge or in the past if you solved similar problems then only you can approach these type of problems if you are good with data structures but if you unable to approach this then it's fine because if you not solve this problems in the past then it's very difficult to approach so it took me around 50 minutes to solve this problem in the contest hopefully i solved it but still if you are for doing data structures for good amount of time and if you are not able to solve this problem please don't worry so these type of problems if you get in an interview we will really struggle because this is completely logical building the code and everything will be very small only thing is getting to that code is very difficult so if you have any doubts if you have while discussing the problem if you have any doubts you can comment it down i will try to help you whether it is positive or negative comment it down now let us understand the problem so we will follow this approach first we will understand the question then we will see the thought process then logic building then the code complexities then we will see the different solutions on lead code how other folks have solved this now you are given two integers n and x n and x you have to construct an array of positive integers numbers of size n where for every 0 less than or equals to i less than n minus 1 nums of i plus 1 is greater than nums of i is saying that you will give some number n and x you need to construct a new new array you need to construct a new array such that all my elements are in sorted order all my elements are in sorted order my num i plus 1 should be greater than num i this should be greater than this right and the result of bitwise and operations between all elements between all these elements if i do and operator this should be equals to x this should be equals to x we need to return the minimum possible value of nums of n minus 1 so we need to return the minimum possible value that means our final answer so if, if my array size is 10 array size is 10 at my 10th location at my 10th location this should be my minimum so we need to return this first thing the basic thing when you got this and operator and if you saying to do and operator with all elements our the first number in the array will be x as and always decreases the final result that means now if you are doing and with any operator it will never increase the result it will never increase the result it will eventually decrease this the result it will decrease the result. suppose if you are doing and with 4 and 5 now you are doing and with 4 4 is 1 0 0 your 5 is 1 0 1 now what what will be your and it will be 4 if, if 4 you are doing and with 7 if you are doing and with not with 7 consider 8 it is decreasing right so it is decreasing so eventually it will uh, it will make it equal or it will reduce it but it will not increase it so first thing you need to underst understand is my first element should be x first element should be x because my first number is x because if you are not taking x if you are taking smaller elements smaller element or the greater element if you are taking greater element it can decrease but if you are taking the smaller element so it will eventually decrease a lot it will go be, uh, below x so first thing i will start with x first thing i will start with x you can start with greater than x as well but let's see i will start with x and i will try to see how i can build this and I will and he is saying that minimum value that is why we are going with x not with x plus 1 x plus 2 and this x this x now let us see now consider a small example now we will see the thought process how we should think now consider n is equals to 6 and we have x is equals to 5 consider this as 5 1 0 1 now my first element these are all my indexes so I am starting with one sorry for that my index at 1 it will be 0 0 1 0 1 at index 2 3 4 5 6 this all should be 1 this all should be 1 so whenever there is a 1 here whenever there is a 1 here my, my all elements should be 1 if at least one of the element is 0 that means my and operator will be 0 so my basic prerequisites is my all elements should be 1 towards my right element should be 1 or my this element should be 1 and you you can say okay this can be one but what if what about other elements what about other elements okay let's see 
if you see, you can see here these are my zeros these are my zeros so definitely whatever may be my values over here or here at here now consider this as my indexes this is zero not this this will be my zero this will be my zero one two three and four so whatever the value you add here it will be definitely zero because zero and anything will be zero it will be zero it will be zero here and it will definitely be one because we are we, while constructing we are making sure that all elements are one and here we are making sure one so i think it till 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 this point you understood it if you did not understood please ask in the comment section i will try to help it out or you can watch the video from the logic building part now we got this now what about this now let's try to think so what can you keep here uh, if you observe carefully this element should be greater than this element so okay let's let me keep one let me keep one okay if you are keeping one and this will be my 0 0 1 okay 0 0 1 yeah this element is greater than this my this element should be greater than this that means i have one here so i need to keep two right okay i will keep two consider only these elements index 1 3 and 4 only 1 3 and 4 remember 1 3 and 4 this is my 2 next this should be greater than my this so what you can keep here 3 it will be like 0 1 1 okay here you can keep 4 1 0 0 if you keep bigger elements right my answer will extend but i want the minimum value but i want the minimum value this is my 4 this in here you can keep 1 0 1 here you can keep 5 okay by this what you understood observe it observe there is a pattern here if you observe we are keeping one here we are keeping one in this 1 0 we are having 2 1 1 we are having 3 1 0 1 we are having 4 and 1 0 1 we are having 5 if it is increases we will increase this value 1 1 2 3 4 5 for index 7 it will be 6 for 8 it will be 7 you got it right why what we are doing my values are increasing that means that means if my n is equals to 6 n is equals to 6 you already placed one element you already placed one element you are remained with n minus 1 elements you are remained with n minus 1 elements so i will take a variable k and i will say it is n minus 1 because if you have six elements you only required five right if you are having seven elements you required six because my first element is already considered so you are required with only k is equals to in this example you are required with five elements and this five elements at every zeroth index not zero at every zeroth bit at every zeroth bit you can give 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 101 so you our k is equals to 5 what i will do is i will try to build 5 i will try to build 5 from this bits from zeroth bits i will try to build 5 from zero how you can do that how you can do that what i will do is when i will iterate i will iterate my my n will be my smallest will be x right my smallest will be my first element i will iterate and i will check for every set bit if i am getting zero somewhere if i am getting zero i will push into the vector i will push into the vector i will push into the vector that index i will push so while iterating at index 1 you are getting at index 3 at index 4 so i will push i will push my array will be 1 3 and 4 after pushing it or pushing it how many elements you required here k is equals to 5 right you should fill only five fifth element here how you can fill the fifth element you can fill like this right uh, consider this as in this order 4 3 1 and 1 so you need to fill 5 how you are going to fill this will be 1 0 sorry let's change the color for understanding so it will be 1 0 1 if you filling like this like 1 0 1 at index 4 it is 1 3 0 1 so you will getting the answer you are getting the answer i think you understood it what exactly we are doing if you have any doubts comment comment or you can rewatch the video for better understanding this will be my answer now let's see now i think you have got the logic try to code by yourself then only you can improve your problem solving skills when you have the logic and if you are coding that logic without watching some other solutions then you will think what exactly is happening then you will like while thinking you will write so in this way you will improve your analytical skills now let's see the coding part it's simple we will iterate we will iterate so why i have taken 30 because it's 10 power 
it's time power 8 30 and x right shift of i and 1 that means if my if the set bit is 1 so i'm saying continue i don't want to do anything if my set bit is 0 i'm pushing into the vector if it is set bit is 0 i'm pushing into the vector i'm pushing the indexes as we see here we are pushing the 1 3 4 we are pushing the indexes 1 3 4 now we are still 31 to 63 it can reach till 10 power 18 worst case we can take this so we are using long long <coughs> because because the storage storage thing will comes to the issue when uh, if you ca cannot accommodate your int value uh, if you are using int data structure if you can't accommodate the maximum value in the int then you will get runtime errors so to avoid that we are using long 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 will can store till 10 power 18 now we are iterating it y is equals to 0 i less than m i plus plus now m is my v dot size and we need to reach k is equals to n minus 1 as we discussed here our k will be 5 when it is 6 my k will be 5 when it is 7 my k will be 6 now we got this k is equals to n minus 1 we are going with the size and we will check k is equals to right shift and 1 is equals to 1 that means what we are doing here is k right shift of i k right shift of i so for every index we are at 0 1 2 0 1 2 i will iterate and i will check k right shift of i and 1 is equals to 1 then i will doing left operator of v of i so if you see this example we have 1 3 4 we have 1 3 and 4 and you can see here this will be my 0 this will be my 1 and this will be my 2 now i will go here my k is 5 k is equals to 5 5 right shift of 0 1 0 1 right shift of 0 times so it will be 1 and 1 it will be 1 so if it is 1 i need to consider this so i will make it set bit i will make it set bit now you will go to one index now if you are 1 0 1 if you are doing right shift once if you are doing right shift once it will become 1 0 1 0 this one will go it will eliminate right after doing the right shift and i will doing with and and 1 now this will be 0 0 0 so my this bit will be 0 this bit will be 0 and same thing with 1 0 1 right shift 2 times right shift 2 times so it will be 1 0 0 this will be my answer 0 0 1 it will be 1 so this will be set bit 1 so here we are doing one left shift of v of i that means we required the indexes we required this 1 3 and 4 index for one index we are doing 2 power 1 here we are doing 2 power 3 here we are doing 2 power 4 and we are adding those values we are adding those values to the answer answer plus 2 power 1 plus 2 power 3 plus 2 power 4 you can see here this will be my answer uh, this will be my answer 2 power 1 plus 2 power 4 2 power 4 yeah 2 power 3 will not be there because set bit is 0 here sorry for this so this will be not be there 2 power 1 plus 2 power 4 so i think you have got it so here my time complexity will be order of 1 uh, because we are not iterating through the end it will be order of 1 and we are not using we are using extra space but it will storing only 60 records so you can tell it is order of 1 so i think you have got it i have tried my best to explain this solution in the best possible way and i am sorry if you did not understood this uh, if you have any questions whether you have a good feedback or a bad feedback everything is welcome you can comment it down i will improve myself and and i have created a whatsapp community where we, you can find uh, all the folks with good amount of knowledge so if you join there you will see how exactly how other people are solving this type of problem i will gain that whatsapp link in the description check it out and if you like the solution please do like and if you are new to the channel please consider to subscribe it i will see you in the next video till then bye bye